Good morning and welcome to day one of the Being Challenge here at Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. I'm Pastor Scott and today is Ash Wednesday, the first day of the season of Lent and it's the first day of this year's 40-day challenge. This year it's called the Being Challenge. It's part of the Red Letter Challenge uh, that we did last year at Lent. I don't know if you participated in that or not, but just by way of reminder, last year we, we focused on the red letters of Scripture. Those are the words of Jesus, the things that Jesus said himself in the Gospels. And, and from that, we, the, those red letters, we um, found five principles that uh, we focused our 40 days on. The first was being, forgiving, serving, giving, and then going. And uh, those five principles then led Pastor Zach, who created that challenge, to, to focus on the first of those principles, being. And that's the basis for this year's challenge. It's being. Being like Jesus, being with Jesus, uh, being a disciple of Jesus. And in the introduction, today is the introduction to the 40 days, as well as the introduction to the to the first keystone habit. In, in the, your reading today, whether you've done it or not, um, you have or soon will discover that Pastor Zach talks a lot about statistics and, and habits. And uh, he quotes us, 40% of our daily actions are not things we decide to do, but are actually habits, things we do without even thinking about them. He also quotes the statistics that 67, 66% of all people pick their nose while driving. There's another statistic he doesn't quote, but that's that 49.5% that of all statistics are made up on the spot. Just something I heard. I don't know if it's true. <clears throat> anyway, in the introduction, um, we read that keystone habits are habits that people introduce into their lives that unintentionally carry over into other aspects of their lives. So they're habits that are created that have an impact far greater than we had imagined they, they might. And Pastor Zach gives examples of those, but you can think of some. Getting more sleep, you're going to be less tired, you're going to be more productive, you're going to you know, probably be more active, you might actually then exercise more, and you might actually end up losing weight. And you know, there's a lot of, uh, just by changing one habit such as sleep, it can have an impact in, in other areas of your life. And so Pastor Zach says there are keystone habits that, that we find in Scripture and the, the red letters of Scripture, and those are the habits of Jesus. And he, this, during these 40 days, we will be encouraged to, to implement or adopt those habits for ourselves. And the five keystone habits are uh, uh, commit to community, study Scripture, prioritize prayer, seek solitude, and choose church. So in these first five days of the challenge, we'll introduce each of the five keystone habits. And <clears throat> because today is day one, we are going to introduce the first keystone habit, which is commit to community. We, you and I, <clears throat> the people you might be watching with, we were made to be in community. And we see in Scripture that Jesus was made to be in community. Um, that's why, as his ministry was beginning, one of the first things he did was to call the disciples. Certainly Jesus could have been in ministry alone. He could have you know, been a lone wolf and probably had uh, quite a lot of success. But he gathered people around him, not because he needed the disciples necessarily, because the disciples, as we read through the Gospels, continue to not understand what Jesus is preaching and saying and doing, but he needed community. He needed to be in relationship with, with others. And, and Pastor Zach gives examples of uh, Jesus having a community of 500 uh, people who believe down to the three disciples whom uh, he spends the most time with. Uh, we read this last Sunday, about the transfiguration of Jesus, and Jesus took Peter, James, and John up the mountain to be with him. Those three disciples he seems to do the most with. But yet there were nine other disciples, and he sent out 72, and we've got this, this crowd of 500, we've got the crowd of 4,000 and 5,000. Jesus was surrounded by people. 
And we need community like Jesus needs community. That's why we gather together. That's why we worship together. This morning I'm sitting in, in what was the chapel here at Ascension, and we've, we've uh, redecorated it, repurposed it, now have it set up as a classroom. But still with a piano, still with a cross on the wall, we can still worship in this space. It is a gathering space, a gathering place for us as, as a community to, to come to to be in study together, to worship together, to, to uh, we shared a meal in this very space uh, a couple of weeks ago. We need community. And, and Pastor Zach leaves the, your devotion, your reading today with a question, leaves you, leaves me with a question asking, does your community follow Jesus? Does the community you identify with, are they followers of Jesus or not? In days 6 through 12 of the challenge, we'll, we will dive more deeply into um, making a commitment to a community. But uh, just to be thinking about that as we learn these five keystone habits uh, in these first five days of the challenge. Commit to community. I hope you've made a commitment to, to being with with me and with others who are watching this every day. And hopefully you've made a commitment to being in a small group here at Ascension because um, I think that will enhance your experience of, of the challenge. Um, and since we're supposed to be making a commitment to community, that might be a great way to demonstrate that commitment for yourself. I've enjoyed spending this part of this Ash Wednesday morning with you, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day two of the Being Challenge. Take care.